This calls what a left lateral position, because the right side is what is directed upward. Okay, and we said that the patient will be in the fetal position. What is the fetal position? His chest is touching his chest, and the knees are flexed towards his abdomen. Why I'm trying to create a T-shape in the spine. I'm trying to make the axis of the spine parallel here, parallel to the table. Okay, so creating a table. And the same thing, I'm going to feel what this is the iliac crest. Okay, and with my thumb, I'm locating the space opposite to the iliac crest. This space is equivalent to L4, L5. This is the space between L4, L5. Okay. With this finger. The middle finger. Okay. And with the thumb, I'm feeling the, the spine. Okay. Again, the right technique. You have to wash your hands and then come and a complete set of drapes will be with you and a complete set of uh, uh, don't ID and for sterilization. Okay. You are going to wear the gown, wear the mask, and wear your gloves. I didn't touch what the finger. Okay, the same thing. I'm always holding it from up. Okay, I'm going to start sterilizing either in the circular technique towards outside, okay, or the vertical technique like that. I'm going to from middle line going laterally, okay? The same thing here, from middle line going laterally. Then I have drapes, supposed to be here. This drape is usually one piece with a circle in the middle. So I'm going to put it like this, okay? We can, I think we can do it here. It will be like this, okay? So the circle is where, towards the space that I'm going to enter, okay? Why this uh, drape is important? Because I want to touch the iliac crest. If this area is not sterilized, this means I have lost my strength. I have touched on the area. So this drape is important to help me to touch freely without disturbing my strength. And it's allowing my thumb, okay, to touch the space that I'm going to enter, okay? Again, we're going to give a local anesthetic with a syringe and a small needle, subsanity only, and then I'm going to enter with the institution. Here, what is the direction I'm going to enter? Is it completely vertical or a slightly cephalic towards the head? Slight cephalic towards the head. This needle is, is uh, made in such a way that you never reach the subacnoid space. Don't fear of piercing the dura. Why? Because we said the length is short. Yeah, we said that the spine needle are going to encounter the CSF around four, four to five centimeters. This one is shorter like that. So don't be afraid of it. There are two techniques of uh, holding the needle. Some people hold it like that, with full position, and some people like holding like a pencil, okay, to support the needle, so it's nice bend. So again, we're piercing the skin, subcutaneous tissue. Supraspinous ligament, interspinous, ligament of clavum. There are different sizes of spinal needles. It starts from 18 gauge, 
up to 27 if you want, or 28 even, okay? The more the gauge, the very thin the needle will be, okay? And there are sayings that the higher the gauge are used, the thinner the